Hi, my name is Chris Noble. I'm an independent IT consultant and professional photographer. My website is www.doglikehorse.com. This is a short video on how to connect to wireless hotspots. Things you'll need for this are access to a computer with a wireless card and some wireless hotspots to connect to. There are basically three kinds of wireless networks you'll come across while trying to access a wireless hotspot. You may come across an unencrypted network, you may come across an encrypted network that requires a security key, and you may come across a wireless hotspot which is provided by an internet provider. Now the first of these, an unencrypted internet connection, is typically a home user or a business user that has failed to encrypt their network and it effectively allows anyone that stumbles across that network to access the internet. The second, an encrypted one, unless you have the network key provided to you by the network administrator, you'll never be able to access. And the third is a hotspot that are often created by people like telephone companies or people that uh, work for airports, etc., who will charge you for using their internet service. Step one is to use your computer to search for wireless networks in your area. On a Mac it's pretty simple, you just click on the airport icon on the top of your computer. As long as airport's on it will show you a list of networks in the drop down list. Next to those networks will be a little padlock if it's an encrypted network or it'll be blank if there's no encryption on that network. Step two is to connect to that network, it's just a very simple case of clicking on the network you wish to join. Once you've clicked on that network and it says connected, it'll be going away and negotiating an IP address with that network. And the third step is to open an internet browser. And this is the point you'll, at which you'll find out whether the network you've connected to is a hotspot provided by a commercial, uh, commercial venture who are going to charge you to use that. If it's a commercial venture, then you're going to have access, they'll, they'll basically direct you to a place where you can enter your credit card details to access the internet and they'll give you a set amount of time. We're finding now that this is changing the world over and people are generally starting to provide internet for free without charging for it, but it's being slow to roll out, so it'll be hit and miss whether they'll want to charge you at things like airports and bus terminals. My name's Chris Noble, thanks for watching this video.